Welcome to this part. In the first problem, we have to find signed magnitude representation for the binary equivalent of 22.5625. This is in decimal. And the first thing we have to do is to find binary equivalent of this decimal number. And then we will represent it by using the signed magnitude representation. The bit before comma, the bit before comma represents the sign. If you see the four options, you will find we have 0, 0, 1, 1 before the comma and they are the bits representing the sign of the binary number. They are the sign bits and they represent the sign of binary number. We can represent binary numbers in three ways. First one is sign magnitude representation. Second one is one's complement representation. And third one is two's complement representation. In this problem, we have to deal with sign magnitude representation. And in case of sign magnitude representation, in signed magnitude representation, If we want to represent a positive number, if we want to represent a positive number, then we have to make the MSB, most significant bit, equal to zero. And if we want to represent a negative number, a negative number, we have to make the MSB equals to one. Let's take one example for this. Let's say we want to represent plus nine then first thing we have to do is to find out the magnitude and magnitude is 1 0 0 1 this is how we represent 9 and to represent the sign we will make the MSB 0 so this is how we represent plus 9 in signed magnitude representation and if we want to represent minus 9 again we will do the same thing first we will write down the magnitude 1 0 0 1 and then to represent minus we have to make MSB equal to 1 so we will make MSB equal to 1 now we will move to the number given in the problem 22.5625 the first thing is to convert this number to binary and if you see this number you will find we have two parts the first part is the integer part and the second part is the fractional part and in order to convert it to binary we have to deal with them separately First we will convert the integer part and you already know how to convert it to binary. We will divide 22 by 2 because base in case of binary number system is equal to 2. 22 divided by 2 will give us 11. 11 is the quotient and 0 is the remainder. We will repeat the same process and we have 5 as the quotient, 1 as the remainder. 2 1 and when you divide 2 by 2 you will get 1 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder and finally we will have 1 so this is what we have for the integer part 1 0 1 1 0 we have to write from bottom to top this is the conversion of integer part and to convert the decimal part we will multiply it by 2 the decimal part is 0.5625 the decimal part is 0.5625 and we will multiply it by 2 and when you multiply it by 2 you will have 1.125 we will keep this one and we are left with 0 0.125 and this will give us 0 0.25 we will keep this 0 now we have 0 0.50 we will keep this 0 2 multiplied by 0 0.50 is equal to 1.00 we will keep this one and when you multiply when you multiply 0 0.00 by 2 you will get 0, 0.00 so we will stop here and we have 1001 as the conversion of decimal part so this is the number in binary and if you see the four options, we have 0, 0, 1, 1 as the sign bits. And the number is positive. This number is positive, positive. And because of this sign bit, because of this sign bit is equal to 0. And if you see the last two options, C and D, you will find 
sine bit is equal to 1. So we can say that option number C and option number D are incorrect and we are left with two options A and B because in both of these options we have sine bit equal to 0. So the only thing left is to compare the magnitude and we have already calculated the magnitude and it is equal to 10110 10110 we have in option A 10110 we have in option B so we have to compare the decimal part 1001 in option A we have 1011 which is not correct in option B we have 1001 so option B is the correct option for problem number 1 so this is all for the first problem now we will move to second problem in second problem we have to solve we have to solve the four options and we will check whether the answer is equal to E3 or not so let's move to the solution of second problem I will solve option number A in option number A we have to perform this operation 1CE in hexadecimal plus A2 in hexadecimal so let's do this 1CE plus A2 if you remember the hexadecimal number system A is equal to 10 B is equal to 11 C is equal to 12 D is equal to 13 E is equal to 14 and F is equal to 15 and we are adding E and 2 so we are adding 14 because E is 14 and 2 and this will give us 16 and we can write 16 as 1 multiplied by 16 plus 0 so 1 is the carry this 1 here is the carry and the 0 here is the sum so we have 0 as the sum and 1 as the carry now we will add 1 C and A 1 C is 12 12 A is 10 and on addition we have 23 and we can write 23 as 1 multiplied by 16 plus 7 so this 1 here is the carry and this 7 is the sum 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so this is what we have as the result of sum and this is a hexadecimal number and 270 is not equal to E3 so we can say that we can say that option number A is incorrect and in the same way we will check for other options I'm not going to solve them this is a homework problem for you you have to solve for option B C and D and once you have the correct option post it in comment section so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one